Hi, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you my house tour. I am a huge fan of everything whimsical, so this house is very much inspired within this theme. Well, now that that has been said, I hope you enjoy it, and let's get started. The first place of the house that I'll show you is my dining room. Now, if you are a returning subscriber, you probably saw this transformation, but there are a few things that are not the same since the last tour that I've made of this space. If you are a returning subscriber of mine, you know that most of my DIY videos are made in this setting and I hugely enjoy it because it has a lot of space for me to work and also is the one that tends to be the cleanest. Now, my bookcase has changed since last time and I am planning on changing it again, but hopefully I can make a video showing you how I style my bookcases and if you're interested, just let me know below. This was one of the first rooms that I transformed in this house and all the furniture that you're seeing was actually DIY'd. If you want to see how I painted it and how I transformed all these furnitures, you can go ahead and check the description box below. I will link it there for you. Once you enter and you see the dining room, the next room is the kitchen. This sits right beside the dining room. I recently transformed this kitchen to match more the decor because my house is an open concept plan. And I decided to change the chandelier and also paint the walls but in a renter friendly way. So if you want to see this tutorial, I will also link it down below in case you are interested. The idea when creating this kitchen was to create a space that was light and heartwarming and that felt like a bakery. I especially love it when it's nighttime since I leave the fairy lights sparkling. It truly creates a beautiful atmosphere in the entire house. Now right beside the kitchen is my favorite room, my living room. This was one of the last rooms that I transformed in this house, so you can really see my style progression in it. I decided to take a more mature route in this room, and I also wanted to keep it more mystical rather than whimsical. I really love how this turned out. I especially love the vines details that I placed on the walls. I also have a video showing you how I transformed this room step by step, so if you're interested, I will also link it down below. If we stick to interior design norms, this is by far my favorite room because even though it feels whimsical enough for my heart to be happy, it still has enough eloquence to pass by in the interior design norms. So I'm very happy in how this one turned out and if you want to watch the full tutorial, you know where to find it. Next is my bedroom. Now, I feel very sad because the camera doesn't translate how whimsical this room is. Every time that I pass by it and the lights are turned on, I think to myself how beautiful it looks. And I've been living here for many years now, so I'm still at shock of how nice it looks. By the way, these nightstands, I actually made them. I will also leave the link down below for you. But as I was mentioning before, this video will never show you how beautiful this room is and how whimsical it feels when you step inside of it, so that's misfortunate. Now, the videos that you're looking right now are actually old videos. This room is looking a lot different from this because if you're a subscriber, you know that I transformed my walk-in closet into an office. I will show you eventually in this video. And because I did that, I had to remove the desk that used to be in my room. So things look a lot different right now, but my room is currently looking like a mess and I still didn't transform it completely. But do expect a transformation coming soon and I'm happy about it because I'm introducing a new style within my home and hopefully you will have a sneak peek of it in this new room. Now, as I mentioned, this desk no longer is here. I'm actually introducing a couple of trees to the room. And also this huge piece of furniture that was one of my subscribers favorite is no longer there as well. But as I mentioned, do expect that room tour coming your way very soon. So make sure to subscribe. Now right across my room is my walk-in closet that I decided to transform into my office. And I have to say, of all the rooms that I have, this is the one that I love the most because it's the one that I stayed inside of it the most. And if you watch my tutorial on how I transformed this closet, you already know that 
I am editing this video inside of it right now. But if you want to see the full tutorial of how I transform everything and how I created this beautiful box around my computer, I will also link it down below for you. Now, this was inspired on one of my favorite movies, Spirited Away, and it's so beautiful to walk inside this place. When you leave it, you can look at the room, but when you step inside of it, because the walls are so dark, it feels like they're hugging you, and I love that sensation. It's also my gaming room, so I decided to buy a fog machine and whenever I want to watch something or play something, I just occasionally turn it on and it creates an even greater magical experience within the room. So if you're interested on this fog machine and any item actually that I have in my house that's available online, do check the description box below because I will have them listed. Now, in that connecting corridor, there is this door that leads to the bathroom. And this was the room that I least transformed in the idea that I didn't paint the walls. I just kept it bare, but I made a couple of changes that you have seen. And it just feels so beautiful. I kept it all pastel because I couldn't change it drastically, but I really love how these gold accents feel so girly and whenever I am making up or taking a shower I really enjoy the lightness and airiness of the space so I'm also very grateful for having it. I want to leave a shout out to this channel actually if you're new here um, I do encourage you to not only be a visitor but also a subscriber I have a lot of tutorials showing you different techniques of how to obtain the same look in a budget-friendly way and hopefully this will be useful for you I understand that there is a sea of good content out there and that is why I truly try to do my best when creating these videos because I know that there is value for your time and that's why I try to make my tutorials and videos as informative as possible. So if you're interested in a couple of techniques that I have under my sleeves, make sure to subscribe. Not to mention the projects that I do want to share with you in the near future. I want to show you how to properly style a bookcase and I will show you different ways of how I'm going to restyle all the bookcases that I have currently at my house. And I also want to show you how to style a coffee table in different ways. And hopefully you will find these tutorial useful. So make sure to subscribe because they will be coming your way shortly. Also, as I mentioned, my bedroom is currently a mess. 
Before I showing you the transformation, would you like to see a come clean with me video unedited? I will show you the raw truth of my <laughs> current embarrassing situation. So if you find that interesting and if I reach a certain amount of likes in this video, I will prepare this video for you because to me it's a huge embarrassment to share online. Well, now that that has been said, I hope that you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my sister and my bunny's channel and to visit me on Instagram to stay in touch. Well, now that that has been said once again, thank you so much. May God bless you and goodbye.